What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as the Kree. Remember when we are were at war with Mongolia and that was fun? Now we're dealing with the aftermath and that's not very fun. Uh, this city's about to fall to rebellion in a single turn and there's really no way for me to fix that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna beat that city down and hope that somehow that'll be uh, good enough for us to keep it in the future. Because we are now at a normal age, not a golden age. We're all apprentices in a craft where no one ever becomes a master. All right, that's great and all. Why it didn't flip? Okay, that's a bit weird. Wait, maybe now it'll flip. I think now it should. I mean, there's not much for me to do. We're currently not at war with Mongolia. We're basically waiting until they stop paying me, which is in about 12 turns. And then we'll go after him again. I think that Greece is still fighting him. Oh, they're not. Okay, they're not fighting anymore. Uh, I'm sure they will eventually. Basically, we maybe we ask him and he'll like join up with us or something. That's interesting. Very interesting offer. I'm gonna have to say yes. Actually, he's essentially giving me 12 gold per turn for a single luxury. And that is a lot of money. All right, so here we go. We lost we lost our beautiful, beautiful baby city to the evil rebellion. We're gonna have to fix that real quick. Mm, that's, that's a bunch of swordsmen. It's not looking good. I don't like swordsmen very much. Although we can at least see now that um, crossbowmen are pretty damn effective in, in, in dealing with a, um, a city, so... Hey, at least that's something. All right, you go there. I'm gonna slowly, very, very slowly, I guess, move the crosswoman up. There we are. Yeah, this is very annoying. And the thing is, there's no guarantee that if we uh, take back the city, that it will still be, you know, loyal. Like it might, it might choose to to go to betray us again, which would suck. It's not bad. We can take it next turn. I guess we just gotta be careful that, um... Greece doesn't steal it. Alright, let's do this. We well, should get a builder here as well. That is a little bit of a ways off, but we'll get there eventually. We also gotta get a settler. We were going to get one, and I guess I got distracted. I'm just passing by, man. We're friends, you and I. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Dude, I love numbers. They're so much fun. Uh, alright. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna grab? What are we not gonna grab? I mean, like I was saying, like, we should probably get a settler, so let's do that. Because we do want to settle a city up there. It's a pretty good area. There's some good, good stuff around. And I would definitely like to get a piece of that. It, see, it's gonna flip to the damn Greeks. It's gonna flip to them damn Greeks. Okay, so that's pretty good. I just wanna be careful that we don't actually... Ah, eh, we got two attacks there. Alright, so we should be able to take it pretty easily. That'll, that'll do the trick. Okay, that'll do the trick. Alright, we got it. It's totally fine. Uh, it is losing a lot of loyalty, so we're gonna have to reassign this dude to bring it to minus four. A monument would give us plus one loyalty, which really isn't that good. I'm not gonna liberate it, hell no. I'd rather Greece have it than Mongolia if I had to choose. Even though I'm sure that my friendship with Greece will not keep on- it, it probably won't last. Let's be- just- let's just be honest, you know? We're all jerks here. Alright, his army's pretty weak now. Greece actually has... Oh, they have a decent army. It's about the same strength. Ours is much stronger. Alright. So we got that back. Question is, when is it gonna flip again? Probably really soon. And the worst part is, I don't think there's really a way for me to, to stop at... Um, because we have a bunch of policies in place that give us uh, loyalty as long as there's a garrison unit and loyalty if there's a governor. So governor provides 10 loyalty. So this one doesn't doesn't count. 
They were getting, I guess, plus two from the garrison unit. Or we're not getting uh, loyalty from the garrison unit and we are getting it from the other policy. Either way, one of the policies is not working. If it had worked, we would have a minus two. So basically, if Urumki gets more population, that will make it easier for us to increase... Here we go. Minus four. All right, well, at least we got it for now. My pledge has been broken. Look, man, I'm in the middle of something here. Don't... Don't give me that stuff, okay? Boom. All right, so the question is, are we going to get the wheat? Are we going to get a mecha wop? Honestly, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of just grabbing the wheat because that's a lot of food and this city does need a lot of food. So we're going to do that. You're on your way over there. Okay. So we have two catapults at the ready now. Basically soon we will want to deal with Mongolia. Because if we take this city, that's going to give us a lot of people around. And that should solve all the, uh, the loyalty issues that we're currently having. Because most people around at that point are going to be my citizens, which is really good. Really don't understand what Greece is doing in this area down here, but sure. I mean, there's basically no resources here, so I'm not sure I would have settled there uh, the way he did. I mean, I'm not just here to judge him or anything. I know that technically we're friends, but still. I can't help but feel that the guy made a bit of a mistake. Okay, anyway. We got our campus set up. We actually have a commercial hub now. And we could get more... Give me a scout. Give me a nice little scout. I want to see more of what's up there. Is there a possibility of me settling anything there? We know the Netherlands are here, even though we actually haven't even met yet whatsoever. Um, but I, I do want to see if there's anything there where I can go. Yeah, if we got more happiness, that would be pretty good. Or just more population over here. So in like six turns, but that's too late. Maybe. We're gonna have to wait and see. Alright. Uh, we should probably just go over here. Let's just meet the Netherlands, see if we can get a friendship going. This looks Mongolian? There appears to be a Mongolian city out there. Despoiled by mercenaries. In war by one's enemies. And they also got their hands on um Damn it, okay. They got their hands on Stockholm somehow, which is annoying. Let's see if we can get a uh, an alliance going with um Are you- how's this flipping? So this must be flipping to the Dutch then. Holy shit, okay, well that's interesting. Things are not looking very bright for Mongolia. They found themselves in the middle of a- well, everything. He's been targeted by an emergency. Well, I'm not seeing it. So they're at war with the Netherlands now, which should make it slightly easier for me to swoop in and do a bit of damage. Okay, that's pretty nice. I mean, if we were to buy a monument, that would give us plus one loyalty, and we need more than plus one. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what the plan is here. Why is this guy here? What? I seriously don't know why that guy went over there. I must have misclicked something in the past, or... Or some or something. I honestly don't know. Oh, so they made a temple. Okay. Scout ready to go. And rumble. Like, this city needs housing pretty badly. We could make an aqueduct, but that would be pretty bad. So a granary would definitely help us out. Magnus is now actually in the city. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go meet the Dutch. I feel like we're gonna be- we're gonna be good pals. We all hate Mongolia. And if we unite under that banner, then I'm- I'm all for that, you know? I say mess them up. Each and every single one of them. I mean, that's actually technically an evil thing to do, but, you know, still. I feel like we should grab an apostle. Seeing as we have the faith to do so. There you go. Go meet the Dutch for me. 
15 turns. Wait, it's falling by minus two now. Hey. So soon enough, it should be at zero, which is really what we need. What up? Thanks, you too. Show me that city. All right, so we're going to be friends. I've, I've just decided we're going to be friends. Okay, maybe not. She doesn't seem very friendly. Different governments, first impressions are quite bad. So it, something that would definitely help our friendship out would be to, to get a trade route probably from here to there. Even though we haven't seen it yet. So that's sort of our goal, to see what we can find there. Basically find that city, uh, trade with her, and then she'll like me. That's going to be our goal here. Mm, I'm seeing some pretty good stuff here, but there's no river, so settling there is not going to be super enticing. Alright, you're good. Alright, so we found the city, so now we can officially trade with Rotterdam. Hong Kong. So, okay, people are just going after city-states everywhere in these games. I don't understand it. It's The AI is hyper-aggressive in the early ages. All right. Wow. Wooden shoes, cheeses, and some <laughs> delightful strobwafel. Okay. Thank you. I love it. Wow, it, it tastes so good. I wish they had this in my country. All right, so... It didn't do anything. Maybe it takes a turn. Maybe it takes a turn to... To process the fact that the population here went up or, or something. I actually don't know. Alright, so we got ourselves a settler. So we want to settle down here. We want to settle up there. Oh boy. Why? Question is, where should we settle first? I know there's a lot of desert up there, but what about here? This is tundra, so we settle there. It's like decent. There's a bunch of wheat around. There's some sheep. We could also settle here. Get some more tobacco, get some wheat, bunch of river. Get a bunch of damn desert, though. And I don't love the desert. It would be an interesting city to try and make Petra in, though. So the question is, do we go up there or do we go down here first? I mean, you know what? Let's... Let's maybe go down there first. I might regret this later, but we'll see. I just feel like, you know, I just want to settle somewhere. We want to get more stuff going. We probably should grab a monument because our, our culture is quite low. It's not like we can actually make a um, another district right now. We're basically full up. We don't have a lot of food, though. Which would be another thing for us to improve uh, for sure. So getting more farms might be an idea. Watermill wouldn't do that much. Granary wouldn't do that much. Monument would be okay for culture, but not much else. Actually, we haven't improved the citrus yet, have we? Yeah, that's definitely something I do want to do. Hey, that's another city. It's really close to me. That's a little bit scary. Okay, so Aksu will flip to the Dutch, then Karakorum will fall to whoever the hell takes that, which would be, I guess, me. I mean, I'm like surrounding this place, so it would have to be me, I think. I'm not really sure. We'll see how that goes. It definitely looks like the Mongolians don't exactly have anything under control. What is this? A free city? Oh, that's the Mongolian city. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait. It wants me to settle here? I guess settling on the rice wouldn't be all that bad. We'd get some sugar if we, if we buy some tiles real quick. And we'd sort of lock down an area that otherwise might interest the Greeks, which is not bad. So actually, I'm going to do that. Uh, Alright, so you're going to relocate to there. And you will trade with the Dutch, because I want them to like me. I'd like to get some lasting alliances going. And I do feel like the Greeks are sort of in my way. Alright, we gotta get the hell out of here. We're in trouble. Let's go that way. 
And then, of course, there is another continent out there. Apparently, the Dutch are really weak as well, military-wise. So if we keep it up in terms of science and make sure that we are on par with them at least, uh, we should be able... Oh, come on. Minus five now? What's happening? What is this? Stop that. Also, stop that. That's very annoying. Why is there just a random swordsman just chilling there? There's nothing for you here. Just leave. Well, I mean, I guess we ought to just make a market, although... Eh, market's probably best for now. Let's get a bunch of money. And we have stopped trading with uh, Mongolia now, so... Soon it'll be open season on his cities. He doesn't have any friends. Everybody sort of wants a piece of that. Aksu's absolutely terrible, by the way. I actually don't think I even want it. Uh, it's got an industrial zone. It's got an encampment as well. So it's not... Oh, that's a lumber lumber mill. It has a campus. I might maybe want to grab it. Now that I think about it, it's like, yeah, okay. I mean, there's some, there's some stuff in there. Okay, what city are we looking at right now? Uh, Urumqi. So this is the city that we wanted to grow fast, mostly. Oh, uh, that's garbage. It's so bad. Slightly better. But only really very slightly. Temple Artemis is another option. I feel, I've, it looks like nobody else really wants to make that. It makes your camps give you amenities and pastures and plantations. It's just there's not that much of that. So we make it here. It's within four tiles. So that would be one, two, three, four. Okay, so that would give us about three amenities. Which isn't terrible. And then also plus four food, plus three housing. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. If we make it here, though, we get an extra amenity. But we get rid of the mech wop. But the mech wop is in, on a tile that's otherwise pretty bad, so... It wouldn't be the end of the world if we just made it there. I guess we'll try. Let's see if we can get this going. It's a pretty decent wonder. Okay, so we want to settle on the rise. Which is a little unorthodox, but I like to try. Uh, do we trade for one extra science? I think so. I think so. It's not too bad. Let's get that going. So the Dutch like it when you trade with them, so soon enough they should like me. Billionaire. Tries to maximize trade routes. Tries to build up science. So... Yeah, I guess you are trying to build up science. Alright, well, I guess we should get along pretty decently. Since I'm also focusing on science a lot. Yeah, this guy needs to heal now. Which kind of sucks. Okay. Uh, one thing that could maybe save us would be some sort of alliance with uh, the Greeks that would not, you know, extend loyalty uh, from them to me. So there would be no pressure for my citizens or anything like that. Because this city is kind of doomed right now. It it's unable to do anything. Mind. To be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. All right, the ability to make university is going to be really good. Um, but most of our loyalty pressure is coming from uh, the Greeks, so... Everything's terrible right now. And that's because it's not stable. So getting an alliance with the Greeks that would basically uh, reduce any type of loyalty pressure between the two of us would be super helpful for me, uh, at least for right now. I do, I like the idea, actually, no, it's not, it's not Yui I like. Yui isn't that good. It's, um... I think it's a cultural one, maybe? There's a wonder that gives you rainforests. This is the one. Chichen Itza gives you a bunch of culture and production for rainforests. And making that over here for either of these cities would be really good. Mostly for this one, though. But, yeah. That's just kind of what I was thinking about. But being able to make pikemen, not bad. I'll probably do that. Let's get a library. And we should probably purchase a... 
Some type of military unit. Like, we want to drive off the invading force there. Are you happy with, with me? We're trading now, right? So, plus two. She'll probably say something later about me working with her agenda and being super happy. All right, settle. PP Kisis. Okay, great, great name. Really well done. Loyalty is looking strong right now. So that's pretty nice. It is pretty close to my other cities, but I kind of just want this area on lockdown, and I do want to buy this tile, that tile. And now that I think about it, let's buy as much as we can so that, you know, Greece doesn't get to use that. Uh, obviously, there will be some border tension, but we'll be just beat them up a little bit if they if they ever decide to be uh, jerks. I'm going to settle where I want. I'm just going to ignore you. I'm not going to say I won't settle near him. Because he settled near me as well. That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. All right, so let's see if we can get an alliance with him. Make an alliance. I think we are supposed to have a cultural one. Your ally cities do not exert loyalty pressure on yours. That's the one that we need. There we go. Yeah, it's not updated yet, but this should have saved it, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we have found two villages. Don't know why they're still there. But we certainly see a lot of the world, so he sort of shared his map. So we can see this city, which we'll flip to the Dutch, but it's in the middle of the desert and it's pretty garbage. It does have whales and, and sugar, but okay. I'm assuming Stockholm will flip after this as well. I mean, I feel like I definitely feel like it should. We'll see how that goes. Uh, okay, so we got ourselves what we wanted. Encore what? Pretty good. Build two markets. We can boost that later. This one is... We're probably not going to boost this for a while. Temples are definitely not my main priority. Wow, the Dutch have gone really far up north. Which is cool. Alright. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going to leave it here for now. In the next part, we're going to push for more science. We are a little bit behind, but things are looking okay right now. We got a new city up and running. Uh, we should have fixed the loyalty thing, but that is probably not going to show up until next part. Um, because there shouldn't be any more loyalty from the Greeks because we have that alliance now. So there should be only a little bit from uh, Mongolia, which we can deal with. So basically, we're going to be able to stabilize this city, turn it into something good, and we might want to also declare war on Mongolia and take Karakoram, possibly Aksu as well. We'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like. And then uh, I'll talk to you guys again real soon.